Okay, and here's another good example right here, okay, from the, from the tight shot talking about the rules and why we do what we, we do. This really probably, we're reading 47 here. As you can see him, this really probably should be a give read. This probably should be a give read. His shoulders are fairly parallel to the line of scrimmage. But if you can beat him, beat him. And this is what I was talking about. A lot of these surf and sit players, okay, they want to force that football. But based off your run scheme, there is still a big gap right here if that ball were to be given, that running back can wind it all the way back and end up cutting backside C gap. There's a lot of runs that happen that way. So that defensive end, he needs to, he understands, hey, I'm the C gap player. I got to keep getting down. Even though my shoulders are flat, I'm, I'm forcing to give. If you can beat him, beat him, quarterback. You can beat him, beat him. He ends up out running him. Finds the crease. But again, the coaching point on this zone read and how we do it. Okay, he disengages, he pulls that ball into his stomach, he goes flat one, two, and then find your crease. One, two, there's the crease, and able to turn it into a positive game. Turn it into a positive game. 